Before you reach puberty, you love your mother and father. You love them. And as soon as you reach puberty, I hate my father. It's part of the culture. They, they know what I'm talking about. They're at school, they hear how other children talk about their parents. We don't want that for our children. We don't want them, for them to reach Mukala. Mukala, the age of responsibility, and then commit one of the most major sins in Islam by hating their parents, disobeying their parents, when they're now Mukala, when they're now at the age of responsibility. We don't want that for our children. So we have to come up with ideas. The masjid is helping the parents in that way because the masjid is letting your children know, come on, we want you. Come to the masjid. Come to the masjid. Be a part of the youth group. You have any, you have any idea how much that helps the parents? That this, there's a place now that we can send our youth to, that they can have fun and be reminded of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not the mall. Because the mall has become a sacred entity. Now, they make tawaf around the mall. No, it's that the mall is sacred to them. No, we don't send them to the mall. Go to the masjid. Go have fun at the masjid. And then once they're having fun, they hear the abound, they go make prayers, and they go back to having fun. That's a beautiful community. That's a rare community. And so those of you who are involved in this community, you must be the wazirs for the leaders. You must help them carry their load. You must respect your leadership and you must follow your leadership. Help them. Because this is a major work that you're doing. It's true, Corona is coming up. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done. A lot of work that needs to be done. And so everyone must participate. However you can participate, everyone must, 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 must make a contribution to this environment. And not monetary first. Do us. And, and, and after do us, the way that we treat each other. The way that we treat each other. You're having an open mosque on Sunday, it is? Alhamdulillah. Because the Islamic culture is irresistible. All the people have to do is see it. All they have to do is see it. Can you imagine when the average American sees different people from different backgrounds and different races coming together in unity? What that does to the average American? And they see how the race problem, the race problem can be solved, that it's possible for the race problem to be solved. They can see how it can be solved. All the people have to do is see how we live, and that's attractive. And so it's good. The spirit here, you must keep it, you must build upon it. Keep these youth coming to the masjid. Don't be afraid of our youth. Keep them coming to the masjid. Let them know that they're welcome and let them know that you love their presence. <coughs> and keep working to build the unity. Unity. Let us not settle for anything less than unity. Yes, of course there are going to be issues, but there will be unity those issues of the unity. If you are sincere and if you are united, my respected brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless this community in ways that you do not even expect it. Because if you have respect right now and you're just going through the process of getting things going and you already have respect right now about the Corona Masjid, a corona masjid. It's true. Then what will Allah give you with more work and more sacrifice and more dedication? And so it's an honor to be here. We say keep going. We say parents, inshallah, hold on. Hold on to our children, inshallah. It's going to be very trying times, but they're valuable, very valuable opportunities in these times. Preserve our children's identity. Don't let them grow up thinking something's wrong with them because they're Muslim. Don't let them think that something is wrong with them because her name is Muhammad. Or her name is Aisha. Don't let them lose their self-esteem. Because in Islam, self-esteem is connected to faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Islam, self-esteem, I'll close with this. 
self-esteem, a sense of self-worth, a sense of honor that's, the, that's directly connected to our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah says it is Izza, Izza. And Allah says, all Izza is with me. <laughs> and one of the definitions of Izza is not just honor, it's self esteem, it's self respect. So if all Izza is with Allah, and if our children are suffering from a low self esteem, that has to do with their relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> so we gotta preserve them. And inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless this community. Inshallah, oh Allah, we see that refuge from anxieties and grief. We see that refuge from lack of strength and laziness. We see that refuge from stinginess and cowardliness. We see that refuge from being overpowered by debt and the oppression of men. Oh Allah, satisfy us with that which is lawful. Keep us away from that which is unlawful. And with thy grace, free us of all wants of that which is beside thee. And oh Allah, guide us to the best of morals. But none can guide to the best of morals but thee. And turn us away from the evil and indecent morals. And none can turn away from the evil and indecent morals but thee. Amen.